Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to demonstrate for you this time a, uh, a little time saver that has been introduced into Excel 2013 and it is called Flash Fill. The command is available to me up here in the Data tab and over in the Data Tools I'll see there is a command called Flash Fill. Now, when I used it, I saw that the uh, first names could be extracted from all of this data and in another cell all of the last names and the part numbers for particular products. So how did it work? Well, I'm just going to undo some of this uh, action here and this is how it works. I want Excel to recognize a pattern using flash fill. So that, uh, what I do, I click in the cell next to the data and I'm going to type the word Gregory. And when I press Control Enter to force the information into that cell, I then go to the Data tab and when I click Flash Fill, all of the first names are extracted because it recognized a pattern for that particular data there and said, well, I'll apply the, the pattern to the other cells. Let's look at the last name. How does that work? If I type PEC and Control Enter to stay in that cell and Flash Fill, there it is extracted all of the surnames from recognizing the pattern that I typed in to cell C2. Now over here, just to take it a step further, there are some product numbers and the uh, um, first two characters might be the sales person's code followed by a dash, followed by a, perhaps a part number that they sold and uh, the last two characters might represent the, um, uh, the area that the parts were sold in. But I want to extract the part numbers so I type in 123456, control enter and now when I click Flash Fill, it looks for the pattern and automatically completes the data for me. What I'll do, I'll just add a number, uh, uh, another um, column heading here, Salesperson, just to see how it works. And I want Excel to look at C3 to start the pattern. And I can then click Flash Fill and it simply fills in for me the extra information here. So it's uh, somewhat of an alternative to the three functions left, mid and right. But it's a little bit easier to use. So uh, that's how Flash Fill works. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As you'll see there are lots of um, uh, Excel, Word, PowerPoint and Access videos available to you. Uh, we love likes and comments. If you'd care to leave something along those lines it would be much appreciated. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.